Hello and welcome to the Games Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to continue talking about Niagara and creating an ambient snow effect in Unreal 4. Specifically, we're going to talk about how we can create a basic wind system to use with our snow effect. Now, if you haven't seen the previous video, I recommend that you go and check that out. I'll be using the Niagara emitter that I created in that video. So now, there's a few things that we need to set up. And the first one is our Niagara system. So I'm gonna right click on our Niagara emitter and I'm gonna create a Niagara system. And we'll just rename this so it says NS for good naming conventions. And then we'll open this up. Now in here, there's a few user parameters I wanna set up. So the first one is gonna be in spawn rate. And this is going to be our snow spawn. The second one is in curl noise force. The noise strength, we're gonna make this our snow turbulence. And now for the last one, I actually want to add another module. So in particle update, I'm going to add velocity. And we'll make sure that this is above solve forces and velocity. And in here, we're going to make this our snow direction. So let's go and set up our user parameters. So the first one, we're going to add a float. And we'll rename this. So it says snow spawn. And we'll go and add another float. And this one is going to be our snow turbulence. And now for the last one, we're going to add a vector. And this one we'll rename to snow direction. And now we just need to link these user parameters up. So in spawn rate, I'm gonna change this to be our snow spawn. And then in our curl noise force, we're gonna change our noise strength to be our snow turbulence. And then in add velocity, this is gonna be our snow direction. So we'll just save this. And now I wanna go and create our blueprints. Specifically, we're gonna create two blueprints. So for the first one, we're gonna right click in our content browser. We're gonna create a blueprint class from an actor. And this is going to be our BP wind. Now for our second one, we're gonna right click and we'll create a blueprint class from an actor again. And this is gonna be BP snow. And now let's go and take a look at the wind first. So we'll open that up. And now what I wanna do is I wanna get the direction of a component and then I wanna feed that direction into our snow system. So I'm going to add a component and we're looking for an arrow just so we can really visualize this. And now over in the details panel under rendering, I'm gonna turn off hidden in game. That way we can always see this. And now we're ready to go set some things up in our event graph. I'm not gonna base this on event begin play or event actor begin overlap. We're gonna use event tick. So I'm gonna get rid of these two. And now I'm going to get a reference to our arrow so that we can get the direction. So if we drag off of this pin and we type in get forward vector, this is going to give us the direction of our arrow. And now I'm going to right click on this pin and I'm gonna promote this to a variable. And this variable is going to be our wind direction. So now we're getting our wind direction, but I also want to be able to drive the wind intensity of this direction. So I'm going to drag off of this pin and I'm gonna look for multiply and we want vector times float. And now once we get that, I'm gonna right click on this float pin and I'm gonna promote this to a variable. And this is going to be our wind intensity. And we'll just clean this up a little bit. And then we'll plug this into our wind direction. And now there's one more variable I want to make, and that's going to be our wind turbulence. And we want to make sure that the variable type for this is set to float. Now we don't need to set the wind turbulence. We really just want this to be a driver for our snow. So for the last step here, we want to make our wind intensity and our wind turbulence public. So we'll just turn on these eyeballs and then we'll connect event tick and we'll compile and save. And let's go and drag our BP wind out into the world. So I'm gonna drag this out and we'd see that our arrow is there. And in our details panel, you can see that we have our wind intensity and we have our wind turbulence. So now let's go and take a look at our BP snow. So we'll open that up. And the first thing we wanna do is add our Niagara system. So I'm gonna click on add component. We're looking for Niagara particle system. And we'll just leave the name as it is. And then in the details panel, this is where we wanna add our Niagara system. So in my case, I'm looking for NS underscore snow. And once you add that, you should see it show up. 
unless your defaults are set to zero. So if we take a look at our Niagara system again, I think I left my snow spawn at zero and we'll just set this to 300, I'll hit save. And now we should see that it's showing up. So now let's go and set some things up in this event graph. And once again, I'm not going to base this on event begin play or event actor begin overlap, but we are gonna use event tick. So I'm just gonna get rid of these. And now we wanna set our user parameters for our Niagara system. So I'm going to drag out a reference to our Niagara system. And now for the first one, we're gonna type in set and we want to set a vector three. And this is going to be our snow direction. So I'm gonna type in user dot snow direction. And then we'll go and do the next one. So we're looking for set float. And this one is going to be our snow turbulence. So in, in variable name, I'll type in user dot snow turbulence. And then for the last one, I'm actually just gonna copy this node and paste it. Cause this is for our snow spawn. So I'll just change the name to user dot snow spawn. And we'll make sure that our Niagara reference is plugged into here. And now the last thing we need to do here is we need to set our values. And what we want to do is to get information from our BP wind so that our BP wind can drive these values. Now, the way that we do that is by right clicking and we're looking for a node called get actor of class. And once we add that, you can see that there's a drop down here. We click on this drop down and we type in wind, we'll get our BP wind 01. Now, what this will do is when we place our BP snow in a level, is going to look for a blueprint that's called the BP wind. And now off of this return value, we can drag out. And if we type in wind, you can see that we can get a reference to our variables now. So I'm going to get the wind direction. And then I'm also going to get the wind turbulence. And now we'll just plug these in. So our wind direction is gonna go into our snow direction and our wind turbulence is gonna go into our snow turbulence. And now for the spawn, I think for right now, we'll just set this default to be 300. And now let's go and hook everything up. So off of event tick, we're going to get actor of class, our BP wind, and then we're going to set our snow direction, and then we'll set our snow turbulence, and then we'll set our snow spawn. So let's compile and save, and let's go and take a look at what we have. So I'm gonna minimize and we're gonna pull out our BP snow. We'll just set that out there in the world. And now we'll just select our BP wind and we can see that we still have our wind intensity and our wind turbulence. But let's go and play and simulate. So when we play and simulate, our wind intensity is zero. And now if we crank this up, we just start to see our snow drift. And now just the same, if we select our BP wind and we rotate it, turn it in a different direction, our snow is going to move with it. Pretty cool. If we turn up our wind turbulence, something really high, 2000, you can see that it gets all chaotic now. So really from here, you can go and get as complex or as fancy as you want, but this should give you a pretty good starting point for setting up some sort of wind system. All right guys, if you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.